If you are still using random sight words, spelling lists, please stop. We know that the best way to teach spelling is by teaching our students the spelling patterns. So we do not want to be using any random word lists that do not have anything in common. Um, if you are doing that, again, please, please stop and do what I'm going to show you in today's video. So we're gonna look at a classroom spelling lesson that bridges the gap between the phonics lesson and actual writing. So we're gonna look at how we can take that phonics lesson, and in this case, it's going to be the A-Y and A-I that make the long A sound. And we're going to teach that spelling pattern that goes with it. So when do we spell it with A-Y? When do we spell it with A-I? And then we're going to be doing some dictation. So this is actually the tail end of the lesson when we're having our students practice by dictating words with those that spelling pattern and sentences. I want you to notice as well that the teacher gives immediate feedback so the students can make corrections if they used the wrong um, vowel team. So when you're watching this, look out for that and see how this is gonna help you in your classroom. Now this works with all grade levels, with all spelling patterns. And so even if you are teaching in the older grades and you are working on more complex patterns or rules, this will help as well. Just make sure that you're not giving random words because memorizing 20 words is memorizing 20 words. But if you're teaching spelling patterns, you're unlocking hundreds and sometimes thousands of words for your students that follow these rules at a time. Okay, let's go straight into the example. Please put in the comments what you notice while you're watching the classroom um, lesson and uh, let me know if you have questions as well. All right, so remember we've been learning about the different ways that we can spell long A, right? Yep. We have A-I and A-Y. So remember, we use A-I when it comes in the middle of the word, like in words rain, mail, train, has that A-I spelling because it's in the middle. And then when the sound of long A comes at the end of a word, we use A-Y. So like pay, tray, or hay. So today we're gonna to practice spelling some words and your job is to figure out if we should use the A-I spelling if it's in the middle or the A-Y spelling if it's at the end. Got it? At the end on A-I. At the end we use A-Y. Um, okay. At the beginning or in the middle. Yeah, good, okay. All right, I'm gonna give you a word and we're gonna count the sounds together first, okay? So, the first word is rain. Can you say that word? Rain? rain? Like, it might rain tomorrow. Let's count the sounds in the word rain. Hold up your fist, and we'll count one for each sound. R, A, N. So how many sounds do you hear? Three. Three. So I want you to say those sounds to yourself as you write the word. Go ahead and pick up your pencil and write rain. On which one? On number one right here. You can write it right on the lines. If you need to count the sounds again, remember you can use those boxes to help you. Rain. Done. All done. Okay, I'm gonna show you it and you're gonna check yours. So rain, where do we hear the long A sound? In the middle or at the end? In the middle. In the middle, so we use A-Y. So R, A-I, -A -I. yes, good, catch. R-A-I-N spells rain, check yours. Check to see if yours looks like mine. If it doesn't, you can cross it off and rewrite it. You got that one? Okay, let's try another one. Number two, day. Like, today is a good day. Can you say the word day? Day. 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 Let's count the sounds. Ready? D -A. A. How many sounds? Two. Two. Write the word day on your paper. Done. Done. All right. Where do we hear the A sound in the word day? At the end. At the end, so we use... A -Y. A Y. Good job. All right, check to see if yours looks like mine. If not, you can cross it off. All right. Next word, put your pencils down. Next word is main. Main. Like I drove down Main Street. Can you say the word main? Main. Main. Count the sounds with me. Ready? M A N. Main. All right, write the word main on your paper. Think about that long A spelling. All right, check to see if yours looks like mine. Did you get it? Yeah. Good job. What spelling do we use for the long A in Maine? 
AI, good. All right, next one. I'm gonna tell you the word. I want you to count the sounds to yourself this time as you write it. We've done some practice together. Here's the next word, play. Say the sounds as you write the word, play. Dinosaurs. All right, play. What kind of spelling should we use for a long A? A-I. A-I, because it's at the end. Don't need to say <laughs> All right, check to see that yours looks like mine. If not, you can cross it off and fix it. You guys did a great job on that one. All right, one more word. Ready? Drain. Listen to it again. Listen to it. Drain. Like, I let the water go down the drain. Say the word drain. Drain. Okay, now count the sounds to yourself as you write the word. Drain. Right. Now look at yours carefully. Think about all those sounds in your head. How do we spell the A spelling in the word drain? What do you think? A-I. A-I, because it's in the middle. Okay, check yours. See if yours looks like mine. If not, you can cross it off and fix it. You had, yeah, but then you fixed it above. Good job. Okay, look at yours. Good job. A-I, awesome. Okay, we're gonna do a whole sentence now. It's gonna have some of those words in it. So, put your pencil down. Let me get my sentences. Okay, I just want you to listen to the sentence so you make sure you know what it is. I'll say it, I'll say it a couple times and then you can say it out loud with me. All right, here's the sentence. The grain was by the hay. The grain was by the hay. You say it with me. The grain was by the hay. All right, now it's your turn to write. So think about all the parts that a sentence needs to have and write your sentence right there. The grain was by the hay. The grain was by the hay. When you're finished, you can go back and make sure you have all the parts of your sentence. Check your spelling of long A. Give everyone some time. All right. You want to go back and check all of our good? Okay, I'm going to show you mine. The grain was by the hay. So let's check all the parts of our sentence. First, let's check those long A words. So we have grain. Look at your grain. Can you underline the word grain? And double check, it should have that A-I spelling because we hear A in the middle of that word. All right, what other word has the A sound? Hay. Hay, good job, you can underline it. All right, check your spelling on hay. We should have A-Y on hay. Not E-Y, but I Good job to fix it. You got it, Oliver? Okay, let's just check our parts of our sentence. Did you get a capital letter? Yeah. If not, you can go ahead and fix it right now. Did you get a punctuation mark? The sentence ends with a? Period. Period, all right, good job. Let's do one more. All right, put your pencil down. I'll say the sentence so you can hear it. Ready? Wait to get the paint and nails. Wait to get the paint and nails. Say it for me. Wait to get the paint and nails. All right, your turn to write. Wait to get the paint and nails. Wait to get the paint and nails. Wait to get the paint and nails. Wait. 
wait to get the paint and nails. All right, check your sentence. Make sure it has all its parts. Good job. All right, let's check my copy. Wait to get the paint and nails. What long A words do we have in this one? Wait. Wait. Oh, good job. Okay, so wait. Look at your word wait. Did you remember to spell it A-I? Because it's in the middle. If not, go ahead and fix it right now. Oliver, did you get that I in there? Good job. Okay, and then we have paint. Paint also has the A-I spelling. Find your word paint. Did you remember A-I? Oliver, it looks like you got yours. Did you get it? Mm -hmm. I, I see you got the A-I spelling. It looks like you're missing another letter. Listen to that word paint. A -t. Can you squeeze in that? Yes, good job, got that in. And then what's our last word? Nails, check your word nails. Did you remember AI spelling? Kara, you got it, Oliver's got it. Do we have capital? Mm -hmm. And what kind of end mark do we need? Period. Period, good job. All right, awesome job, you guys.